What is up, people? Quest Supply here, bringing you another video. Welcome back to Wizard 101. We're currently on the quest, 100% not that witch. What's the hold up? Go get a Herkimer stone from the rotting fodder, or do you prefer the fire elves' brains to turn to boiling jelly? Oh. Okay, so you guys know my uh, death pet, Centurion Precious, right? Well, off screen, I told you guys uh, that I would be uh, fishing every so often to try to make some more money. During my fishing, I caught this Baron Von George. I did not know it was possible to catch a pet through fishing. And now I have one. A siren or a mermaid or, or something. I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, a siren. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a little siren. Okay, cool. It has... It, will get, it can give me this card... That can only be used after seven turns. Holy cow. That is crazy. But it also hits 685 damage. Dang. I mean, I'm going to keep Precious for now because Von George is a baby. Um, it has absolutely no... Uh, I haven't leveled it up at all. Unlike Precious, who is an ancient level now, so... I'll keep Precious for now, but maybe I might have to switch to Saren. Anyway, let's see. Where's the Rotting Fodder? Uh, in the Dark Cave, which is... Uh, that direction. I'm getting this confused. So I need to go... To the tree? Is that what it is? Maybe? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'll teleport to the tree symbol and go from there, I guess. It's a little bit of a distance, but that's okay, I think. Maybe. Go. Uh, which direction now? Straight. Okay. Let's try not to get into a battle. There we go, thank you. I'm gonna go all the way around. It doesn't look like there was any point of crossing there where I wouldn't have gotten attacked. So I'm gonna not do that. Here's some rotting fodder. Gotcha. She's a fire cat. Go fire kitty. Dang it. Go fire elf. Yay! Shoot, you know what I should have did? Placed an X at her house so I could immediately talk uh, Take our Herkimer stone. We'll dig up another to record our sickened beats upon. Okay. I gotta walk or fly all the way back because I didn't put an X in her house. Why didn't I do that? It's my fault. Okay, crazy fire cat lady we gotta speak to. I gotta remember that before we're done with fire cat alley. Shoot. Cross, 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 cross. Got it, okay, cool. Where's her house closest to? Nothing. Okay, good. 
It's amazing. Yo, shoot. Why didn't I use the tree teleporter to come over here? Oh my gosh. I don't think sometimes. I'm sorry. Okay. Hurry. My dragon is not acting like this is a... Uh... Priority. It's taking its time. Nora Frost Weaver. Ah, good. This Herkimer stone should work nicely to record Bastilla's wail. I'll override whatever noise the rotting father had imbued it with. You'll just need to get Bastilla mad enough to let out a good shriek. Herkimer stones naturally capture the sound waves of the undead. I did a little reconnaissance while you were gone. Big surprise, Bastilla is in her old house, the Diva's Tower, down the street. Good luck! Thank you. I'm going to place an X here this time. Even though it's not as far away, but still. I'm going to do it anyway. Uh-oh, magma men. Uh, okay, good. Down the street, huh? Oh, Ryan Moon is here waiting. I don't know if they're waiting for somebody to team up with, but I'm going to go in. Two, one, go. Yep. Guess they're not coming in. At last! I've been eagerly awaiting a review of the performance I gave for the Fire Elves. What? Are you not a fan? Well, Malastar is. None of you wretched living creatures' opinions will matter once the Dark Master's plan is fulfilled. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> The chains all around her is crazy. Okay, Bastilla. Let's get your booty. Uh huh. Hmm. First things first, we should really take out that fire elf, huh? And wait. Okay. Dark Sprite first. Also, I said fairy, I meant elf. I gotta take out the fire elf. Oh, great. Um... Ghoul, go. Take out the fire elf as quickly as possible. Yeah. Got him. really have too much at the moment so I'll just do this ah uh, I get to do it back um you know what get rid of one Get rid of this fire cat. Death blade. Okay. 
So far, so good. Okay, I'm gonna try something here. First, Fire Elf. Yes, it hit. And then, Ghoul. Go. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Hit. Yeah! I gotcha! Dang, even with that boost, it only hit a 145 because of her... Ah, oh, resistance to it. Dang. I, I knew she had a resistance to death, but that much? Holy cow. Okay, as long as my card hits, she should be dead. Oh, really? Okay, I can just skip then, huh? Yep. amazing um nothing in here so let's oh yeah I, i'll walk out first just in case then teleport if there's nothing around here i don't see anything oh what's that oh oh okay i know that's from a different quest Did you capture Bastilla's whale? Great! What's that? She warned there's still more to Malister's sinister plan? Wait, Malister's behind this? Malister? Drake? The Death Professor? I'd heard he blew himself up with the Death School after his sweet wife, Sylvia, passed. Truth be told, I'm not surprised. There was always a certain darkness about him. Sylvia was too good for that entire Drake family, if you ask me. Nonetheless, we still need to transmute Bastilla's Whale into a cure for the Fire Elves. We'll just need a few things before we can get started. Oh, good. Unfortunately, the alchemical transmutation will require some equipment that I'm no longer privy to. One student turns himself into a humongo frog, and everyone wants the alchemy professor run out of town. Bartleby forbid Ambrose have my back. Anyhow, I can make do with crafting equipment. Here's a list of items to borrow from Gloria Crendel in Old Town. Just, uh, don't mention my name. Oh. We're going to do that in the next episode, because this one took longer than I expected. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.